Good evening. This is William Clark from the Will and Kevin Show. And, man, I just got to come out with it. Like, I've been fighting it for a long time, but I just got to let it go, man. Really, I got a lens addiction. A lens addiction. And it all started from Kev Jones. Because Kevin Jones told me about the big boy lenses. That will be your Leicas or Leica, uh, your big boy Canon lenses, your anamorphics. And I got hooked. And man, it's it's so hard to shake. <laughs> it is so hard to shake. And um, you start out with the lenses. And I'm going to show you just a few of the lenses. Um, that we use, but um, I'm trying to get out of it. I think I've overcome it somewhat, but um, only time will tell, man. And um, man, it was pretty bad, you know. Sneaking lenses home from Adorama, trying to get home before your wife get home, so you can get the, you know, uh, uh, Amazon boxes, you know. Saying that, you know, oh, I didn't get anything today. I mean, you know, it's bad. It's pretty bad, man. You know, trying to do this photography, cinematography. You know, you don't have much money. Sometimes you get a little bit. You can get a, you know, real expensive lens. And then it gets so bad that when you can't buy the expensive lens, you buy adapters and there are a plethora of adapters out there. And you can adapt older lenses that you might have that you thought maybe was obsolete. So then you start getting the adapters. So it, it gets really bad. So, wow, man. I just got to let you see some of this stuff, man. This, this, is, this is bad. Uh, this is pretty bad. And Kevin Jones started this. Kev Jones started this. Tell me about glass is everything. It's all about that glass. And really, he's right. The glass makes a big difference. The cameras, they're all kind of catching up now with the uh, the bit rate, the uh, uh, dynamic range, and some of the other features. But it's all about that glass. The glass is the first thing that, uh, that is your image. Uh, and then lighting. So glass is everything. And... Um, I'm recording this in Filmic Pro. Uh, I figure I could do this real quick in Filmic Pro, get everything down. Um, Filmic Pro is an app that you need to have as a filmmaker, um, and it's, it's, it's loaded. It's loaded. You can do logs. Um, uh, I think they have a, a S log or a F log. Don't quote me on it, but if you look at the information on Filmic Pro, there's a lot of videos out on it, uh, and it's worth it. It's an expensive app. Uh, I think it's like $12, 13 bucks. It's worth every penny. It really is. So this is what I'm recording with now. Let me know uh, how the image quality look. So, but I'm going to flip this over I'm gonna, uh, so you can see the what I'm talking about in lenses. So, back to what I was saying. This... These are a few examples of the lenses. Some I've lost over the years. Uh, one was stolen. I sold a couple to a few people. I traded lenses. So it gets bad, man, after a while. You get a lot of lenses because you have multiple cameras. You might have a Micro Four Thirds. You might have a, a standard uh, Canon EOS. Um, so you have those lenses, and then you're switching out. And then, a lot, like I said before, if you run out of money... Well, you can just buy adapters and your adapters can help you convert different lenses to different cameras. So you're still gaining. So like here, this is a FD mount to EOS. So this will go from an old FD lens, old Canon lens that they made in the 70s and 80s, convert to your newer Canon with the EOS, FD to EOS. So I could take then... Here's another adapter. This is a EOS 
to micro four thirds. So there now I'm able to put a Canon uh, EOS onto a micro four thirds to fit the bodies that I have, right? The Olympus body and the Panasonic body or the, you know whatever micro four thirds body you're working with. So you get that. Then it gets worse because then you start getting, they have the anamorphic looks filters that give you a, a assimilated anamorphic well, I can't really say simulated. You get a you get an anamorphic look. It's a good, clean look. And you attach this adapter to the top of your glass. So now you're experimenting with a whole new cinematic look, that's the anamorphic looks. So um, let me see. Here's an example of the EOS FD mount to a micro four thirds again. And this was the older one. And this mount right in. And you connect that. And of course, you had your bigger e EOS, so I still can use this. Uh, all my e EOS or EF mount glass I could use. Takina. Um, yeah, Takina. The uh, Sigmas. Tamrons. You can do that. And then, if you buy a... This is... What is this here? I have to see. Oh, this is a micro four thirds. No, this is a M42 mount or like the, the German type lenses and the Japanese. This is a Yashica, right? So instead of getting rid of it, you buy an adapter and now you can use the M42 to micro four thirds and keep it, keep it popping and you get different looks and everything bring you a different aesthetic. But then I have a cinema glass, true cinema lens, this Mikey or Makey, uh, 16 millimeter uh, is an incredible lens. And then I bought a anamorphic filter, as you can see it, to put over top of from Vid Atlantic. So now, not only do I have the cinema glass, a true cinema glass with the double rings for uh, pulling your T-stops, which is F-stops and uh, photography glass. And then you have your, uh, your foot, your, your, uh, your uh, meters or your length the focal lens to bring it in and, and it has a full uh, 360 throw on it. So you can just really get a beautiful image. And this is a micro four thirds. So I have that with the anamorphic looks. You can see the glass inside with the split from Vid Atlantic. Check them out, Vid Atlantic. And then it gets real bad. when <laughs> I know it's bad when you get one lens and put it inside a second lens. This is a true anamorphic. This is the Eki anamorphic. You can see it on there. The Eki or Eki Japanese anamorphic 16F. You can see this is a true anamorphic lens. But to, to attach it, you need to house it on another lens. So now I got not only got one lens, but I got two lenses together. To produce the image and this is housed on a m42 mount i think it's my takimar i can't remember which one it is i would have to take it off to see exactly what the glass is but it's mounted with the vid atlantic you see the, the adapter so it's a glass in a glass and so not only i have a, a, a thing for glass now i'm putting one inside of another as if one is not enough so the addiction is real it's real, but um, it, they all create a different aesthetic. So um, you'll be able to use it. So that gets the true anamorphic look. Um, and like I say, all the other glass, there's a couple uh, zooms. Um, let me see, any other adapters? Oh, I have an original Olympus adapter, which original manufacturer in the old, no, it's not this one. Sorry, I have, oh, here it is. Yeah, the OM. The original manufacturer Olympus the old Olympus to a micro four thirds and uh, that's uh, I have I have any I don't even have an old Olympus to hook on this but if I run across one you guys know what's gonna happen so yeah so like I said before it gets bad and Kev Jones started me on this glass tip but uh, I'm gonna stop at the footage and reverse this and again, I'm using the uh, Filmic Pro app on my phone, and I'm going to stop it right now. 
So I'm gonna wrap this up. It's just a short video on the, uh, the lens addiction. I think I'm over it now. I mean, I went into the lens rehab. It seemed to work, you know, pretty good. Um, you know, I just stopped searching for lenses. Um, you know, I just, I just gave up on it. But um, if you have any old lenses that you don't want, just I'll, I'll leave the description where you can send it to me and I can check it out. You know, just to see if it's good, any good or anything. But uh, hit us up, Will Clark with the Will and Kev, Kev Jones show on YouTube. Hit us up, hit it, do a subscription. We should have a subscription. We should have a link. Uh, hit us up if any uh, shows you'd like to see. Uh, we have a plethora of content and it's coming right at you. But if you see Kev Jones, tell him he started this a long time ago and I'm just getting over that habit. <laughs> Peace. See ya.